Hey guys, what's going on? It's Coach Justin with Ultimate Baseball Training, and in today's video, I wanna share with you three of my top tips to help improve your arm strength. Everybody wants more velocity, whether you're a pitcher, an outfielder, an infielder, a catcher, everybody wants a stronger arm. It's fun to show off, uh, it really impresses coaches and scouts, and it's nice to have confidence in that gunslinger. So, um, the very first thing on how to improve your arm strength is, guys, you gotta dial in your mechanics, okay? You have to make sure your mechanics are 100% locked in. Uh, you're not going to be able to throw hard if you're really herky-jerky with your motion, if you're all over the place, if you're doing something awkward with your throwing motion, you're not going to be able to throw near as hard. So a simple way to improve your, your uh, throwing velocity, maybe 5, 10 miles an hour, is to get somebody to film you, film you from the side, just like this video is recorded right now. Film from the side and just go through some throwing motions. If you're an infielder, maybe go through uh, just some play and catch throwing motions and then actually take some ground balls and have somebody. Uh, film you when you're actually throwing the ball to first base or if you're an outfielder you know maybe you can film somebody um or have somebody film you when you're taking a crow hop and making a throw to the plate or something like that. But have somebody film you, I strongly recommend that. Do it in slow motion. You can do that with just a regular iPhone these days. Um, but have somebody film you and then compare that to professional players. And if you're doing something weird, uh, you know, I mean, I can't even really think of something off the top of my head, but if you're doing something weird when you bring the ball away from your, from your glove or if you're doing something weird in your follow through, if you're just using your arm and you're not really incorporating your legs, you know, watch the professional players and compare yourself to them and you have to dial in your mechanics. If you're really struggling with your mechanics, you can't figure out what's wrong, um, definitely shoot me an email and I will try to help you out as well. But that's thing number one when it comes to improving your arm strength. Guys, you have to have solid mechanics. It's kind of like hitting, you know, if you have really awkward mechanics, swing mechanics, and you're trying to improve your batting average or hit home runs, it's really not gonna work. The very first step is you have to dial in those mechanics. I know everybody wants to just jump into, you know, arm strength training drills and workouts and stuff like that, and that's that's all great. I, I highly recommend that, but you have to have great mechanics before you do that. So the easiest way to gain velocity, it's really an arm strength cheat is Make sure that your mechanics are 100% dialed in. Okay, the next tip to improve your arm strength, guys, you've got to use your arm. You've probably heard the term before uh, when you're lifting weights, progressive overload, right? That means, let's say we're doing squat and we're squatting with 225 pounds, okay? If we do 225 today, then next week we have to bump that weight up if we want to see an increase in our muscle strength and, and our explosiveness and uh, you know the size, the physique of our body, you have to go up in weight, right? If we just did 225 for 10 reps and then racked it and then next week we did 225 for another 10 reps and we did that for 10 weeks, you know, you might see some really small gains in strength but you're not gonna see near as much as if you do progressive overload and you add five pounds after every you know, set or add 10 pounds every week or something like that. Wouldn't it be great if you know, 10 weeks down the line you were squatting 50 or 75 more pounds? Well, it's the same way with throwing. You gotta use your arm and you have to do progressive overload, what I like to call it, as far as throwing. I don't know how many times I go to the field, even at college practices, and I see guys, infielders are the worst at it, um, and you'll see them throw and they'll get out to maybe 80 or 90 feet and that's it. They just basically are throwing after the third throw they're already throwing knuckleballs and curveballs to each other and they get out to 80 or 90 feet and then they bring it back in. Guys, that's not using your arm. That's completely limiting yourself. What I mean by progressive overload is long toss. You gotta let yourself get out there. Get, you know, see how far that you can throw the baseball. Get out there um, and every single week, you know, if you're throwing the ball 250 feet the next time, try and back it up to 260 or 270. Constantly get further and further and further away from each other and then bring it together again and try and pull down as hard as you possibly can. But it's about using your arm. Listen to your arm. If it's bothering you, don't throw a long toss that day, obviously. But you're not going to gain any arm strength unless you use your arm. You're not going to get any stronger by throwing the ball 60 feet, okay? So use your arm. Get out there. Spread yourself out. Um, and, and really tear down that, that, uh, that, that shoulder, that arm, the rotator cuff, and let those muscles, fibers, you know, build themselves back up again. Okay, the last tip for building arm strength, guys, you have to get in the weight room. 
you have to get strong. What do I recommend you do in the weight room? I recommend you do compound exercises that incorporate your legs mostly and incorporate your big muscles, okay? What do you think is going to translate to you throwing the ball harder more? Do you think it's going to be squats and deadlifts and really targeting your, your glutes and your hamstrings and your quads, your big muscles of your legs? Or do you think maybe bicep curls or some uh, you know forearm or tricep pushdowns? You think, I mean, obviously the more, the bigger muscles you incorporate, uh, the more explosive you're gonna be, the stronger you're gonna be. So get in the weight room, that's really, really important. Uh, there's new studies out there that show that even if you're 10 or 12 years old, getting in the weight room, it's not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna stunt your growth, that's a myth. Um, so get in the weight room at an early age and be safe. It's definitely more important to do the exercises correctly than it is to have, you know, 550 pounds on there. But I would strongly recommend you do compound exercises that work multiple muscle groups, okay? Don't be sitting there doing tricep pushdowns all day and expect your arm to go from 80 to 90 miles an hour. It's not going to work. You have to use compound exercises and we throw guys your arm just kind of goes along for the ride mostly we throw with our big muscles we throw with our legs that's where all your power and explosiveness comes from i believe that's why i have some power at the plate and, and a, a strong arm is because i have strong legs so um, these are just three tips that if you implement them i promise you you're going to see gains in your arm strength but it's about who's going to go out there and who's going to actually work at it okay you're not going to get any better by just watching this video you've got to get to the field you've got to work on your arm strength Stick with it, be persistent, be consistent, and I promise you your arm strength is gonna go through the roof. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Get in the comments section below. Let me know what you want me to make future videos about. And as always, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified whenever we release new baseball videos every single week. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.